in the previous video you learned about the set notations which is uh, raster notation and uh, set builder notations so in this video you are going to learn about different types of sets and uh, the sets are equal sets equivalent sets empty set singleton set finite set and uh, infinite sets so we are going to learn these uh, sets uh, we are going to learn about these sets in detail uh, with some examples after you have learned about Venn diagram uh, I will talk about some more sets uh, like uh, universal, universal set subsets proper subsets supersets and uh, disjoint sets so these are some other sets that are derived from the from uh, universal sets and we will talk about these in detail after uh, the you have understood the concept of Venn diagram and we'll see some examples of these sets also let's talk about equal set now so two sets when they have same element it is called uh, equal set suppose a and b are two sets and uh, the element of a are in b set and element of set b are in a then they are called equal set for example if a is a set with elements uh, with element 3 1 7 and uh, b is another set with element 1 3 and 7 so since they have the same element uh, they are called equal set now note one thing that the the order of elements in both the sets are different so in the equal set the order of element does not matter whichever order is there it's all right as so as long as the elements are same let's take another example let c be another, another set and the members of this set are 2 5 and 7 and d is another set and its member are a 5 and 7 so only two of the elements are matching and the only two elements are common in set C and set D and one of the element is is different therefore it is not an not equal set not equal set so this is the main point uh, that you have to remember that whenever sets are equal they have the exactly same element and doesn't matter which order they are let's talk about equivalent sets so two sets are equivalent when they have the same number of element or in other words uh, they have the same cardinality so here cardinality is uh, it means that number of elements it means number of elements and it is also denoted as uh, n and then it's like a function and uh, your set goes here so let's say if a is a set uh, with uh, three elements 2 4 6 and the cardinality of set a is equal to n a equal to so there are three elements so it is 3 so two sets are equal uh, two sets are equivalent when their cardinality match if they have the same cardinality let's uh, 
let there be four sets. These four sets are A, B, C and D. So let's set A B equal to 2, 7, 4 and set B B equal to A, B and C. So if we note the cardinality, if we find the cardinality of set A, it will be N A is 3 and cardinality of set B is, is N B is 3. So since they have the same cardinality, uh, we can say that set, set A and set B are equivalent. Let's take another example. Let set C be equal to X, Y, Z, 1, 2 and set D equal to 3, 7, 8, 9, Six and the cardinality of set C is C is equal to so there are five elements one two three four five and cardinality of set D is equal to N and D that's five so since both of them are same the cardinality of set C and D are same they are equivalent set. Now one thing to note that like equal sets the equivalent set don't have to be don't have don't need to be have same elements. The elements can be different. So in in set A you can see the elements are numbers elements are numbers and in set B the elements are all alphabets. Similarly in the set C it is a alphanumeric combination. The elements are uh, alphabets as well as numbers and in set D all are numbers. But it doesn't matter because for the equivalent set only cardinality is important not the numbers, not the elements. Now we will see some difference between and commonality between equal sets and equivalent sets. And the major difference between these two sets are that for equal set the elements are important. Elements are important. And for the equivalent sets, your cardinality is important. Cardinality is important. Now, the equal set can be um, can be both uh, equal because the elements are there, so. They are same, so it's both equal and equivalent because the elements are of same number. If set A has five elements, set B also have five elements, so it is also equivalent at the at the same time. And the equivalent set only elements. Can be different. You can have any element and it doesn't matter. Now the empty set, there is a set called empty set which has no element. It is always equivalent. 
because there is no element in two empty sets so they are always equivalent and we cannot say it is equal because there is no element if there is an element we can we can say that it is equal also but uh, right now it is only equivalent because there is number of element is same 0 and 0 that's right So those are the important difference between or uh, uh, commonality between equal sets and equivalent sets. So now we talk about empty sets. Empty sets are those sets that, uh, that does not have any element or you can say it has zero elements and sometimes it is called Sometimes it is called a null set. It is also called null set. So it is usually denoted as curly braces. You can use curly braces to denote an empty set or you can use the phi symbol to denote an uh, any empty set or you can use this standard empty set symbol this symbol means empty set but when you denote an empty set within a brace this is this is a set with an empty set it is not an empty set when you use a brace and then you will put uh, your empty set inside it is not an empty set it is a set that contains an empty set so be careful with that sometimes a set is described in the form of some property and uh, if no element match that property then the set is uh, empty so for example yeah, suppose a is a set and for all x x is a real number such that x square is less than x now it is impossible for x square to be less than x because as soon as a negative number or a positive number goes here it will be either greater than uh, x or equal to x for example if 1 is a number then 1 square is equal to 1 so that also uh, is not applicable because we are asking for a number x square which is less than x so there is no number which is uh, which is greater than its own square therefore we can say that a is an empty set it is an empty set so this notation is called the set builder notation and we use the property to describe the set a and the result is empty set a set with only one element so let's say if a is a set and a has only one element called a small letter a then it is a singleton set or maybe set b which only contains one number then it is a singleton set even there are sets which can be described in form of uh, some properties and uh, if only uh, one element that meet that property then it is also called a singleton set so we use a set builder notation so let set let d be a set of all x values where x is from set of set of uh, prime numbers such that x is even so we are looking for a even number 
that is also a prime number so if you look at this one then there is only one element which is uh, which is prime as well as even and that is number 2 so there is only one element in the set d and it is called a singleton set set finite sets are those sets in which uh, elements are limited and you can count them for example if set a is a set of set of english alphabets you know how many english alphabets are there so it's going to be 26 elements so this is an example of set that has uh, limited elements it has a limited elements similarly if uh, set b you can take set b which, which is a set of set of uh, days in a week days in a week so you know there are seven days in the week so it has seven elements so b is a set with seven elements this is an example of finite set now we talk about infinite set there are sets that contain infinite number of elements and these numbers are such that you cannot count them so they are uncountable for example set of natural numbers which is denoted by n it is a set that contains all the numbers starting with 1 2 3 and so on and it can go up to infinity so these kind of sets you cannot count the numbers the number of elements similarly you can say another set uh, set of integers the set of integer denoted by letter, letter z and it contains all the numbers uh, including zero and negative numbers so number negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 and then in positive direction 1 2 3 and so on so the, the integer set grows in both direction it can it can go smaller and smaller up to negative infinity and again it can go uh, uh, larger and larger in the positive direction with positive infinity up to positive infinity up to positive infinity so basically there are so many elements that we cannot count that is why it is called infinite set there are sets that i haven't mentioned then there is set of whole numbers whole numbers set of complex numbers and there is even set of prime numbers like this we have so many sets that have infinite number of elements and uh, because the uh, elements are uncountable we call them infinite sets let us review everything that you learned in this video first we discussed about equal sets so two sets are equal when they have the same element and also same number of elements equivalent sets are those sets means two or more sets are equivalent if they have the same number of elements which is also called the cardinality of the set
empty set is a set of empty set is a set with no elements singleton set is a set with uh, one element finite sets are sets with a limited number of elements so which you can count and infinite set is a set which has infinite number of elements but you cannot count them in the next video i will talk about venn diagram and the rest of the uh, types of sets and also we'll see some examples